Hey guys, Chad Trofgerben here. Welcome back to the Anime Studio tutorial series on how to animate a cartoon. In this lesson, we're focusing on applying switch layers to the alien. Now this will seem very familiar as you've been following along because we did the same for Steve. The alien actually has fewer switch layers than Steve did, so this should be a fairly simple process. So we're focusing on the mouth only for this. So to get started, let's make a switch layer. So in the alien layer, we just go to new layer and choose switch. And we'll name this one mouth or mouth switch if you wish. And again, make sure that's inside the alien. Now the mouth layer is at the top of our list for the alien itself. So we are good to go there. All we need to do now is click and drag to put that mouth into the switch layer. Now once this happens, your mouth will move somewhere else, possibly. So you just need to take the translate layer tool and nudge the mouth back to where it belongs. So now we need to create two new mouths, one that's open and one that shows him clenching his teeth. So let's do the open mouth first. And if we wish, we can also rename this to closed mouth. That way we don't get confused as to what each of these layers uh, does. So once you have made a new vector layer and named it open mouth, we can come over here and zoom in and grab the eyedropper tool and click on anywhere on the alien just so we get the right line width and um, color but we might want to choose a fill of black. At least I make my mouths black when they're open. So you can choose that if you wish. Now taking the add point tool, we will put auto fill on and keep sharp corners off. Start right about here. And go like that and then if it doesn't auto fill you can take your paint bucket tool and switch it to both and then choose stroke if you need to get the lines and fill in your colors just like that now if you have some intersection going on here with the chin you can always take your scale points tool with the mouth selected and just nudge it a little bit like so and that will work out we now have an open mouth for our alien the next step if you want to first check to make sure everything looks good there and it does open mouth open to close and all that stuff the next step is to create the clenched teeth so again we'll make a new layer and choose vector and we'll name this one teeth. So again, using the same method we did before, and we can choose the fill to be white if we wish. And we can turn auto fill off for this, just so we make sure that we can fill in what we want precisely here. We can start here, same spot. What I'll do though is I won't make this as open as the open mouth. I'll make it a little bit more squished in. Like so. And I'm going to make this a straight line. And then I can fill this in. I can do the strokes as well. 
And then I will also put a straight line going across like this. And fill that stroke in. So now we have clinch teeth going on here for the alien. And again, we can snap back to the open mouth and we can see how that goes in closed mouth. And there's a little bit of a discrepancy there. Um, we could actually just come in here and maybe just extend this out a little bit. Yeah, look, that works a little bit better. And the thing about this too is we're not going to have these mouths back to back to back. So they don't have to exactly line up because it's not going to be noticeable at all that these mouths are slightly shifted off. But even so, they're not that shifted because the mouth is changing because he's clenching his teeth. So his mouth shape is going to be a little bit different. Now, there may be other switch layers we have to do down the line because we do have some complicated stuff coming in here, like him holding a gun. What we might want to do just to get ahead of all this is we might want to create some switch layers for the hands themselves. Now, sometimes when you do the gun animation, at least I'll be showing you guys this method, we actually draw the hands on the gun graphic itself just to save um, us some grief when doing this. You don't do that all the time, but in this case, we'll probably be doing a lot of that. So what we'll probably need is to eliminate these hands altogether when we are creating these hands on the gun graphic. So we can make switch layers for the hands for right now and just keep the hands in the switch layer and then make an empty vector layer within the switch layer for when we do the gun portions. So let's just make a new layer and make it a switch layer. And I'll name this hand one switch. And we'll just click and drag the hand right into that switch layer. And of course, like anything else, you might need to just nudge this with your translate layer tool back to its spot. Now, with that said, we need to just make an empty layer. So new layer vector. And we can name it no hand. And again, this will become apparent why we're doing this when we start animating out the gun portions and all that stuff. So now coming down here, we want to do the second hand. Now making a new switch layer. We'll name this hand to switch. And I can drag the second hand into that layer and of course nudge it back to where it's supposed to be. And then make a empty vector layer to accompany it and we'll just put it as no hand. So there, we should be fairly covered. And again, there might be a couple more things we have to do along the lines with both of these characters when it comes to switch layers or just other animation types, because things do come up when you are working within the animation. I'm just doing this right now to get us a jump start on this stuff before we begin the actual animation process. Now there's one more thing you might want to do. Since you have made new layers now, these three switch layers, you may want to bind these layers to your bones because they um, are new layers and have not been assigned to any bones yet. So clicking on the mouth switch layer, I'll choose the bind layer tool and then choose the head. For the hand switch, and I'll bring my hand back here so I can see what's going on. I will choose this bone and then for the other hand switch, I will choose this bone. And again, we can right click on that switch and choose the actual um, not invisible hand to get this going to make this uh, show up. And that's another thing we could do too, now that I mentioned it, is instead of the switch layers for the hands, you could actually just turn your hands invisible for when you don't need them visible. But sometimes the switch layer option is easier. You don't have to deal with having to switch the alpha on and off or whatever you choose to do as far as that's concerned. Anyway, that wraps up this lesson. Make sure you save your project file. And don't worry, we have many more lessons coming up. So look forward to that. Polish up your characters. And I will see you guys then.